Hannah is now based in London. Her personal work takes the form of research-led, self-initiated social documentary and portrait projects. In her own words, she does all she can to understand the lives of those captured and to present them creatively. Very personal and emotional uh, developing. Um, I think the one thing about my work that I'm really enjoying at the moment is that I'm continually learning. Um, I'm very much aware that I've got a huge amount to learn and I'm really enjoying that process. I really like the idea that I can never learn enough and with every single portrait that I take, with every single person that I meet, I get something different and I learn something different about myself as a photographer, about the subject, about photography in general and just basically about kind of what an image means to myself and the person that I'm photographing. The people that I aspire to or the people that I look up to, um, what they give me and the inspiration um, that I get from them is a sense of passion and I guess that's one thing that I can always relate to is the fact that I can never imagine myself wanting to do anything else. I get such a huge amount of pleasure from it and I feel so much gratitude that I can wake up every day and have the opportunity to take a picture and the fact that I can meet somebody and take their picture is just is just such an you know it's such a privilege it's so amazing so I guess it's just yeah that's what I get from the people that I admire is the fact that they appreciate that and they really honor that and they really have that passion as well I guess the one thing that I always stand by with my work is that um, I hope that it's incredibly honest. I hope that when I take a picture, um, I, I don't just take a picture for the sake of it. I think there'll always be images that you take and you regret afterwards, but I think that's the whole process of learning. I hope that from my background of kind of, you know, I, I choose to take a picture and I really enjoy that choice. And I really enjoy that choice when I regret it afterwards and I look at the contact sheet and I'm like, why did I take that picture? But I, I, I think it's about, um, Perhaps my advice, or if anything, would be about questioning when you take a picture and questioning when you capture that moment and when you don't. And I guess it's about respecting that moment and not necessarily photographing or looking at everything, but looking at things and thinking, why am I photographing that? Or why am I choosing that moment amongst any other 30th of a second or 60th of a second? So, yeah, I don't know if that's advice, but that's, I guess, my philosophy. So we now come to the Vic Odden Award. Acknowledging a notable achievement in the art of photography by a British photographer aged 35 or under. The 2012 award goes to Laura Pack. It was a huge shock to begin with, and I am honoured is not enough of words. Seriously, so, so, so honoured. Um, I think it's a great thing when you have a society that really does support photographers and the Royal Face Photographic Society really does. Um, I first heard about them when I was at university and um, i followed them since and I've had their magazines and it's a relief to have the support of the community, the photographic community behind us and it's a huge honour not only to receive the award but to be amongst so many great photographers and people that I really look up to, really respect, really, really admire. And it was such a pleasure this evening. It was fantastic. I'm, I'm overwhelmed, to say the least.